Narcissus by Caravaggio is going on a long journey. The 16th century painting is being loaned to a temporary exhibition in another museum. A moment's inattention during the arduous journey could damage this invaluable work. So the art gallery teamed up with engineers to test a smart technology system to keep an eye on such priceless objects. This gallery has a very rich collection beginning from the 12th century and many of our works are very valuable, not just economically as you can imagine, but in terms of culture too. While visible damage almost never happens in transit, restorers are still concerned with microscopic level problems that may arise especially if the art piece gets exposed to extreme ambient conditions. We're applying these sensors with a special glue to the aluminium parts. And after it solidifies, we can correctly measure the vibrations during the journey. Some of the sensors are attached to the frame of the painting, others to the crate. Comparing their measurements will show how efficiently the special container absorbs shocks. Whatever the weather, the painting inside the truck must be securely protected from changes in temperature, humidity and vibration. Sensors monitor it the whole way. The sensor data is constantly recorded, logging the microclimate changes and any shocks that might occur. These smart devices developed at the University of Rome don't use much energy. That gives them weeks or even months of autonomy. They're also extremely robust, so they can be used outdoors. This technology has the potential to be used in different situations at very low energy levels. Along with artworks, we can monitor larger objects, like tunnels or bridges, which is another application. After six hours on the road, Narcissus arrives at the famous Basilica Palladiana in Vicenza. The recording will now show whether the transit was smooth. That data can reduce the costs of insurance, making art exchange more affordable. The transport of paintings, terracotta statues and so on is a very important activity of our ministry, particularly this year as we've moved more than 6,000 artworks. While experts inspect the surface of the painting for signs of damage, engineers download the recording on the computer to visualize the timeline of the trip. Once we've loaded the information on the computer, we can see the curves of the temperature and humidity in transit. Here we can see a shock, for example, but inside the box the shock was completely absorbed, which indicates that the work was correctly isolated. Next, engineers aim to create a compatible smartphone app to keep an eye on the transported object in real time.